clearly there was there was pressure throughout the day, and uh, you're always aware of that. And I just try to stay, you know, within myself. I'm I'm generally not a overly emotional character, and uh, try to keep things nicely within myself. So I mean, it was fantastic to have a guy like Hashim with me most of my innings. I think he uh, he did a really good job at, at just keeping me in the moment and uh, just worrying about the next ball and not looking too far ahead. But obviously there were sort of times. I mean, in the, I spent a bit of time in the 90s. Uh, I was only really getting ones, so. But I did think to myself, you know, I've, I've waited so long, so even if I spend another hour here, I mean, it'll all be worth it. Yeah, I mean, Hashim's very calm out there. Uh, I mean, if, uh, if I can achieve and be half like him, he's a, he's a fantastic human individual and, uh, and a fantastic batsman, so, you know, someone to emulate. Um, we had a little chuckle out there because the last time we batted together, I think uh, we were 19 years old, so it's uh, certainly been a long time and, uh, yeah, we enjoyed our time out there. It's obviously a, a lifelong dream come true and, uh, um, I had always thought to myself, even from a young age, it's, 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 yes, it's about making your debut and playing for South Africa, but it's about performing as well and, uh, and scoring hundreds. And I think for so many guys, it's just the goal to, to, to make a team. Um, whereas for me, it was so much greater. I, I want to contribute to, to Proteus victories, to Proteus successes, and uh, through my individual performances. I kept to my normal routines that I, that I normally do, and it probably helps that I've played for, for a number of years. And I mean, those routines and, and things are well established. So. Um, yeah, I just sort of try to do that and let the controllables control themselves. And, you know, after that, uh, it's in the hands of, uh, you know, Mother Cricket. Last night, uh, before I went to bed, he gave me a call and said, uh, my boy, if you just don't get out to the first one, you're really better than me. So uh, I, was re I was really, uh, really glad for that first, uh, first one off the pads. And, uh, yeah, no, he, uh, he came over and had a word with me and, you know, just said he's really proud. And, I mean, I owe a lot to him. He... Uh, he threw me balls and fed me bowling machines for, for many years growing up. So, I mean, it's probably, probably one, one for him as well that, that he never got. I think as time wore on, uh, I knew it was getting more difficult and, and probably less likely that I, that I would make my debut. Um, but I never gave up hope. I always, I always carried on. And um, I think if I'd given up on that hope, it would have been difficult to just carry on. It would have been, a, would have been as a, a retirement, you know. But uh, I never felt that and uh, I always felt the day would come if I could just be consistent and, and put in enough performances eventually, you know, it would, uh, it would bear fruit. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a couple of guys, uh, a couple of Australians, even a couple of South Africans, you know, guys like Neil McKenzie, who's almost his second coming um, to test cricket, was, was at a later age. I've always said, I mean, early on I said I kept that belief. Those were guys that kept my belief going, that it did happen to other people and that it could happen to me and uh, yeah I certainly look at them and their successes and you know hope I can I can emulate that and uh, bring some experience to the team and, uh, and and hopefully be successful over a period of time no no this is this is definitely uh, one one more special than uh, than the rest of them I think uh, I think today and, and and this game will be one that that is uh, absolutely etched in memory uh, I mean we're sitting in our lines changing not so long ago and the guys are teasing me about all the all the games and how there was just some games that you just couldn't remember that sort of just paled into insignificance, you know. Um, but this one won't. This one will be uh, really special and always foremost in my mind.